Hi, it's Chris. While we're waiting for Ryobi to deliver the solar products it announced in September of 2021, I thought I'd go ahead and design and build an 18 volt solar charger adapter for all Ryobi tools. So let's take a look at it. My two project goals were to make it work with all the Ryobi 18 volt tools and to be able to allow it to be solar or AC charged while the device is being used. I picked the Victron Smart Solar MPPT controller because they're the best out there. They're programmable through Bluetooth app on your phone. They're very well made. They're not cheap, but well worth it. In order to charge the 18 volt batteries, you actually have to provide at least 21 volts. And so I needed solar panels that could provide that. And it turns out you actually need two solar panels in series. I was looking for panels that had MC4 connectors so it would be easier to hook them up in series. I was looking for small, lightweight panels that would be easy to store. I was hoping for something that would fold up, but I found these SunPower panels that are pretty lightweight and well made. I designed this adapter for the 18 volt Ryobi battery. I made it so you can put the Victron MPPT controller on the back here. It's got a place for the temperature sensor that you need for charging and also for the two terminals for plus and minus. I printed it in PETG on my Prusa printer so it would be nice and strong. I find the easiest way to install these clips is to actually put it on the battery and then you can just insert this on your part on top of it. And it lines it up pretty well. And you can take it off and push it in further. If we're going to make some way to solar charge these different tools like this Ryobi 800 watt inverter, we need some way of attaching it to the battery connector. You have two alternatives. One is to make your own. And I have the 3D prints on the web. Or you can take a battery and convert it make an adapter to your existing tool by just taking one of your old dead battery packs apart uh, and inside there's a uh, the connection you just clip that off just make sure the batteries are dead first and then you can use this to connect to the wires Just pulling 10 gauge wire through the holes. I'm putting furrows on the end of the wire to keep them from sp spreading out too much when you stick them into the solar controller. So you just fit the furrow on the end. And then there's a crimper that makes a square connection. And I'm going to cut these a little bit shorter because I don't need them so long for the solar controller.
I'm going to make up some MC4 connectors so I can connect the adapter to the solar panels. You can get these online and they, they come apart and you just have to crimp wires to them and solder them. So let's make up some wires. I've crimped on the ends to the wires and installed the pieces. Now I just have to solder them. The one with the longer end goes in here. You push it in and it snaps into place. Then you put the seal in and then it screws down. The shorter one goes into the male here, I mean the female. It snaps in, put the seal in, and screw it down. Gonna strip these and put ferrules on. I've installed the solar cell connectors to the PV here. I've installed a 1.2K resistor. When I, since we have the resistor installed now, so when I connect it up, you'll see that the charge lights now go on. So now we'll be able to charge the battery. We need to configure the MPPT controller using the app on my cell phone. You have to go to settings. You need to set the battery voltage to 24 volts, the max current to 3 amps, and then the absorption voltage to 21 volts. I also set the low temperature cutoff. You can also use a 29.4 uh, DC power supply hooked up to the MC4 connectors to charge the system if you don't have solar panels. On my 9 amp hour battery, once it's fully charged, the LEDs go out, but you can still hit the test button. Let's check the prototype out and see how it works. It's sunny out, but brutally cold. I've got the solar panels hooked up to the MPPT controller and my little Ryobi battery adapter. And it's driving the 800 watt Ryobi inverter. And right now I have it driving a 200 watt light bulb. You can see the solar panels are generating 63 watts, which is really close to the three amps that I set as the maximum that could go into the batteries. Now I just have to make some kind of cover so I can hire, hide all these wires. To design the cover for this, I used a little USB Rivalpoint Pop 3D scanner to scan the combined MPPT controller and my Ryobi battery adapter. I've loaded the model into the Geometric Design X software and you can see that it fits pretty well. Now this part is the solid model of the Ryobi battery adapter that I had made. And then here's the cover that I've designed to slide over both of them. I've loaded the SDL model of the cover into the Prusa slicing software and then I'll Put this out on the printer and start printing it. I'm just using these little tap screws to hold the cover on in the locations that have the holes.
This should work well to solar charge your 18 volt batteries, run fans and radios, inverters and things like that. Well, if this was helpful, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.